Hey Leo, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We're here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as any of you lovely cross watchers dealing with a Leo romantically. This is a timeless tarot reading, so whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to receive the messages. I'm going to be pulling some tarot cards to see what's coming towards you in love, but keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. I do invite you to take what works and leave the rest. Okay, Leo, let's jump in. What is coming towards Leo right now in love? What is coming toward Leo right now in love? Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. All right, so right off the bat, I will say that some of you are single at the moment. You do have a new love offer possibly coming in, but there's a little bit of this halted energy surrounding it with this Hanged Man energy. So we're going to have to clarify to figure out why this new beginning is stalled and to figure out what you can do next. Now, this can be true for those of you who are in a relationship as well. Maybe you're feeling like something in your relationship right now is stalled. So we're going to take a look at that energy. OK, so let's start by taking a look at the nine of pentacles. I mean, it could be for some of you that you're really just loving being single and then new love comes in and you're like, am I ready to like give up my single life? Am I ready to like let that go and be in a relationship? I do think that's the case for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you. So the nine of pentacles is clarified by the nine of wands, the 10 of cups and the two of wands here. Yeah, my sense here, Leo, is that you're at a place in your life right now where you're being really intentional about any sort of decisions and steps that you're taking in your love life. And I think one of the most important things for you right now is alignment. Do you see a future with that two of wands? When you meet somebody or in your current relationship, do you see moving forward together on the same path? Do you see building a future there uh, with that 10 of cups energy, right? Otherwise, if you do not see that potential, I think you've got your guard up. I don't think that you're interested in entertaining any sort of situations where you do not see that long-term potential. So I guess what I'm picking up on here is that you're being very discerning with who you choose and the decisions that you make in your love life. So tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, because it looks like there is something new coming in for you. It could definitely be new love. Ace of Pentacles tends to be like a very uh, loyal, devoted energy. So if this is new love, I think it's a very nice energy coming in. Um, if you're in a relationship, it could be that your partner is making you some sort of offer. There's some sort of new experience that you guys are having together. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. <laughs> The Tower, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this it's so interesting to me, Leo, because whatever is going on with this new beginning, it is massively stalled. It's like the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the Tower. There's a new beginning, and then it all comes crashing down. It could be a water sign that you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but I feel like with that Seven of Pentacles there, it's almost like you decide to not fully invest in this connection and that's what I was picking up on a moment ago where I'm like there might be somebody here who comes in and offers you love and you're just not feeling it Leo that could be the case it could even be that you're not feeling it in your current relationship and you're deciding to put on the brakes tell me about this hanged man energy tell me about this hanged man energy here what is this yeah okay the hermit the fool and the page of swords so you might be saying no to somebody because you just don't feel like it's the right fit. And there could be something else that you've got your attention set on. So it could be even like somebody comes in and they have their eyes set on you and you're like, I don't know, this isn't really what I want. I feel like there's something else that you're moving towards here with that fool energy. So it could be that you're saying no to one person or situation but yes to another. So what is this fool energy for Leo? What is this fool energy for Leo? Wow, Leo, nine of cups. <laughs> okay, um, so basically we've got the nine of cups, the eight of swords, and the sun. So there is some other situation that you're moving towards here, but you're also having some fears and anxieties about this situation. 
Is it that you're like a little scared to take a leap of faith with this person? I feel like there is somebody here who you're very intrigued by and who does make you happy and you do feel is a dream come true, but you're also having anxiety about this connection. Okay, so what is this Eight of Swords? What is this Eight of Swords? Oh, okay, hold on, wow. So uh, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Leo, Leo, okay. Sorry, give me a second and I'm gonna to explain to you what I'm feeling here. Okay, so <laughs> this is kind of an interesting message that I'm getting. We'll see if it resonates with anybody. I think that there is somebody who comes in and is really interested in you. That's the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So this is the first person that we were talking about. They're coming in, they're very loyal, they're very genuine, they're showing up for you, but you're just not feeling it, okay? So you're like, I'm not really feeling it, so I'm not really gonna give to that connection because I think you've got your eye on somebody else and you look at that person, Leo, and you feel like that person is a dream come true, but I feel a lot of insecurity around this connection. And it feels to me like this person who you're interested in is not actually giving you the time of day. Sorry, Leo, like I gotta I got roll with the messages here, but it's almost like there is someone who wants you, that's not who you're interested in, you have your eyes set on somebody else, but this person is not giving you the time of day. I mean, this is not great energy here. This to me says like, they're not really giving you attention. They're disappointing you. Uh, I mean, does this person even like you, Leo? <laughs> like, does this person even, have they shown you that they're potentially interested in a connection? Are you reading into it a little bit? I don't know. I feel like you're you're kind of giving up on the person who, is actually showing up for you for somebody who is not giving you the time of day. Okay, all right. Um, so tell me about this person that Leo is interested in, this person who's not giving you the time of day. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords, and the Judgment card. I feel like this person just has a lot going on and they're maybe not looking to settle down at the moment. The Knight of Swords can sometimes be a little bit of a flighty energy. Knight of Swords is not always known for settling down. I kind of feel like this person is just doing their own thing though and they feel very ambitious. They feel like they have goals. Um, that's probably why you're attracted to them. Like you might see them out in the world doing all sorts of cool stuff and you're like, yeah, I want to be a part of that. I'm just, I don't know, Leo, I'm like, I'm not sure if you're even on this person's radar romantically. Like, is this somebody you work with and you've got feelings for them and you're hoping there could be more, but maybe they're not really giving you any indication that it could be more? I just think you've got your sights set on somebody who is unavailable. I don't even really wanna look at that energy anymore because I, ju I just feel like that person's not available. So why are you pursuing this person? Why are you pursuing this unavailable person? Okay. Leo, 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 Leo. Is this self-sabotage? Are you guys self-sabotaging? I'm looking at you. Are you self-sabotaging right now, you guys? Okay, so... We've got the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, and the Star. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that some of you may be playing out an unhealthy pattern where you sometimes pursue people who are unavailable, okay? And I think that in order to break that pattern, you need to heal something here with the star energy and you need to find your confidence, okay? Something here I feel is encouraging you to pursue people who are not available because that initial energy, to me, I'm like, why are you, why are you not into that? <laughs> you know, like, you know, that's my first question when I see an energy coming in where it's like, it feels like there's some loyalty, there's some stability. So to me, I'm like, why not explore that? But 
it looks to me like you were just not interested in that but the person who you're the most interested in, I'm not picking up on vibes of them returning that affection. And, and I, I just keep feeling like they might not even know Leo. They might not even have any idea that you're interested in them. They're not looking for that, but you're here and you've got this big like crush on this person. But the interesting thing is like, you do have somebody here who's showing you attention. It's just not the person you want. You're focusing more on the unavailable person. Interesting. So what's the advice for Leo in this situation? What's the advice? Okay, so Ten of Swords, you guys. I think for some of you, if you're resonating with this message today, I think you might have some work to do around looking at your patterns within relationships, okay? I see here with the Ten of Swords that you've been very badly hurt. So I feel like you're carrying some baggage from a past relationship, okay? We've all been there, right? But the thing is, when we carry that baggage and we're not aware of it, and we haven't healed it, that's when we can attract partners that are not the best fit for us, or we can go after partners that are not available, or go after partners where there's an impossible future. So I feel like what you're doing is you're maybe playing out an unhealthy pattern because there's something here that you haven't healed, and so in a way, it's like a self-protective thing where like to me, it feels like you choose partners who are unavailable because there's no future. And what that means is if there's no future, you can't get hurt. And I don't think this is something that we think about like consciously. Like I don't think you're sitting at home being like, I'm going to purposely go after unavailable people so that I never have to be in a relationship and get hurt again. I don't think we consciously think of these things, um, but I do think that could be going on for you. So I actually kind of feel like the big message for you guys today is more around your own personal development and your own building up your own self-worth because I think I think it's going to be hard for you to recognize um what I want to say like it's going to be hard to recognize potentially when something good is coming towards you if you've got these negative patterns that you're playing into does that make sense you guys right um, so it, it actually feels like a lot of the messages today are about self-healing. Oh, okay. I'm going to pull some cards from the Soul's Journey Oracle, you guys. Okay, so a card dropped on the ground. It's the self-esteem card. Hold on. I'll show it to you guys. Hold on. Okay, where is that? So this card came jumping out for you. So yeah, this is exactly what we were talking about. You need to build up your self-esteem. You, it says, I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others, right? This is where you need to really do that work on yourself to build yourself up, you guys, so that you're not playing out patterns that potentially attract the wrong type of partners, you guys, okay? Let's get a couple more of these soul's journey messages for you. I think this is about your self-love, your self-healing, and your self-growth, you guys. Okay, what else? Change, okay. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. I think this is about you needing to go through that process of change for yourself, right? Changing yourself, growing, uh, breaking old patterns, developing new healthy patterns of relating to others. What else? Regret. I know I cannot change the past. So for some of you, you might still be holding on to regret for something that happened in a past relationship. <sighs> Gotta forgive yourself, you guys. We all mess up. We all mess up in life. But in my opinion, it's like there's no use in beating ourselves up. Take responsibility and accountability for what happened and learn and grow. And, you know, if you did something that hurt somebody, apologize. But to me, regret is not useful, right? It's like, how do you transform that into something productive, something where you've learned a lesson? Because if you're just going to live in regret, that shit will eat you alive, right? Okay. So for some of you, you need to work through some regrets. I'm getting blame though. I feel like some of you are just beating yourself up about a relationship that didn't work out and you just got to be so much kinder to yourself and way more compassionate, you guys. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into the world. I do so without judgment. Okay, Leo. So part of this as well 
to me feels like self-judgment. It feels like you've been very, very critical of yourself about a past situation, whatever that 10 of swords energy represents. I think you've been beating yourself up. I think you've been critical of yourself. I think you've been judgmental of yourself. I feel pain, okay? And that's where I think you're reading it actually didn't really turn out to be about the love that's coming in for you. I feel like this reading is more about the love that you need to be creating internally for yourself to build up that self-love and that self-compassion so that you know that you are worthy and deserving of amazing, amazing love and not chasing unavailable people and people who aren't giving you the time of day. You deserve so much more, but you need to know that you deserve so much more. So I feel like this message today is for those of you who are maybe on a bit of a healing journey. And for now, it might be about taking a bit of a break from dating or relationships. Obviously, that's your personal choice. But I feel like the message is more around the focus that you need to be directing onto yourself and to really building yourself up so that you can work toward attracting a healthy relationship and recognizing when there is somebody here who's offering you stability and love, loyalty, and all that good stuff. Wow. Okay, Leo, I'm going to leave it there for you. If you enjoyed this reading, please do give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. And of course, I wish you guys so much love and happiness. I wish you all the best with this, my darlings. And we will talk again very soon. Bye, Leo.